it's been reported nationally. Initially, CBS Sports, Matt Norlander was the first one really to report it, write about it, discuss it. He discussed it in a podcast interview with me regarding the Players Era Festival, which will take place the last week in November, Thanksgiving week, in Las Vegas. It's an NIL event. Their initial reports, as I take a sip out of my Houston Rounds Ball Review mug, hint, hint, hint. Games take place Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Right? That's what the report said. Heck, that's what we were told. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And that Tuesday is November 26th in Vegas. And reportedly, the first matchup of the Players Era Festival group play. Cook's part of a group which features Alabama, Rutgers, and Creighton, I believe, was to be Houston versus Alabama, Tuesday, November 26. Rex 32. Mr. Tran, Miss Wanda, and everybody chiming in at the last minute as you're watching right now this edition of the Houston Round Ball Review Takeover. Not so fast, my friends, as Lee Corso said and made famous. Game may not take place, may not, might not take place on November 26. Sources, sources have told me. Well, I know this has already been posted as well. There is another matchup scheduled in Vegas on Tuesday, November 26th at T-Mobile Arena featuring some blue bloods. And that matchup is, y'all already know it, if you don't, don't already know it, is Duke, Kansas. So, discussions have begun. Some people, marketing, promotion, etc. Why should we have Duke, Kansas, and Alabama, Houston playing on the same day? So there's been some scuttlebutt that the Houston Cougars versus Alabama matchup might move to a different day during that week in Las Vegas. Still part of the Players Era Festival, but it might not be on Tuesday, November 26th. Another curveball. The Cougs, the Players Era Festival might, might extend to Saturday instead of Tuesday, Wednesday, off for Thanksgiving games on Friday. Now it might be Tuesday, Wednesday, off Thursday, Friday, games on Saturday. Or even Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. A lot of stuff going on, and Rex sums it up. What's going on with this scheduling? If you're Wondering why hasn't there been, as schools, colleges, teams are beginning to release and announce their non-conference schedules, what's up with Houston? Why haven't the Cougs put out their non-conference schedule? It's because 
nothing is finalized yet. Nothing is official. You got to dot those I's and cross those T's and get every, all the ducks in a row. You know, you know all the cliches. So that's what's going on. Ideally, once the contracts are signed, and, ah, by the way, there is also now talk that the games, or at least some of the games, involving the Players' Era Festival will now be televised on linear TV, not just a streaming platform. Because pick the network, ESPN, Fox. Hell, why, why would we want to miss a chance to show, to broadcast a potential top five meeting between Houston and Alabama? Yeah, hell yeah, we want to put that on TV. So that's all part of the discussions. And Wednesday, Friday, Saturday sounds a lot better. Thanksgiving weekend schedule. Granted, one of those issues, yeah, football Saturday. And I think that football Saturday, isn't that the day of uh, Ohio State, Michigan as well? That's kind of like um, rivalry Saturday in college football. So that is an issue, point of contention, discussion going on with the basketball folks. But this is on point. A decision does need to be made for travel purpose, pur you know, purchases, purposes, everything. Because it messed up my plans and I heard about, what, Saturday? What? <laughs> I was planning to come home on Saturday. So, yeah, what, what, what is going on here? And Mario, thank you for chiming in. Houston Bama, the better game, but the other game ain't too bad, though. I think Mario is, is either a Kook fan or a Bama fan rather than a Duke or KU fan. But it, basketball, I, I was... I'd hope to be there in the building to watch both you know, on Tuesday. I was like, hey, it's a hell of a double, double hitter for me. But all of this is still in the works. Got to get everybody on in agreement. Got to get the TV networks happy and satisfied. And, and if they can pull this off and agree on tip-off time and game time and this, all